Um, I saw, what's a church deliverance? I'm sorry, say that again? What is a church deliverance? A church deliverance? Like, I've seen, like, a video where it was, like, somebody was, like, somebody came to somebody, it was, like, a church event, and, like, I guess the devil was inside of them, and I guess the pastor was, like, um, he was, like, and once I say that, the Get spirit out. will come out, yeah. Yeah. Um, there are, and depending on, again, the denomination, how much they emphasize this, but I don't think we can deny it because the New Testament says this happens, right? Is that there, there are demonic entities, all right? And we have a very bad impression of what demons are. I think we tend to think of, you know, the, the, the devil with the horned tail and the pitchfork and all of that. Demons are fallen angels, all right? They're fallen, they are angels who have rebelled and, and followed Satan in rebellion against God. Um, but the Bible is very clear, those spiritual entities do in fact exist. And some of what uh, troubles us, some of the problems we confront in life could very well be the result of demon act, demonic activity, all right? whether it be demonic possessions, things like that, and then you'll have exorcisms, uh, things like that. Now you have to be careful. Because you don't want, I mean, and those that actually practice in this area, and I'm not one, I, I don't do exorcisms, but I know some people that do, um, you know, even they will tell you there's these certain requirements you need to look for, these check boxes you need to check before you're going to draw that conclusion. So we always kind of start off with, let's look at this as far as a physical medical issue possibly, possibly before we jump to it being a demonic issue. But that's what that is referring to, is, is responding to demonic activity. Okay. All right.